Hi folks, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So, this is episode 3, and in the end of episode 2, we had just reached level 21. And level 21 is what we were looking for to get the Trank Arrows. Here we can find them, there we are. So we can now unlock Trank Arrows. And that's what we'll need to start taming bigger and better creatures. Such as Triceratops. Uh, so now we can craft them. We need some narcotic. Uh, and we need more arrows. So we'll have to take... What is it that we need to make normal arrows again? So fiber. Uh, take some fiber, some thatch. And, so, and then craft all of them. There we go. Now, once we've got normal arrows, stone arrows plus narcotic makes narcotic arrows. So let's make all of them. might actually need to craft some more stone arrows just in case, so we'll need some more flint for that. So pickaxe on a rock for flint. There we go. Should do this. Right, so when we tamed the Parasaur, the parasaurs will flee from you when you hit them, so we, we used a bola to stop it running away. Uh, trikes are too big to use a bola on, they'll just break the bola. But although they're uh, passive to you normally, as soon as you attack them they'll come after you. And with that great big horns on the front of their head they do a lot of damage to you. So what we need to do is we need to trap them in a trap to first of all stop them getting us when they try and attack and then all aggressive dinos once the torpor starts sinking in and they're almost knocked out they will then attempt to run away and the last thing we want them to do is run away and run into the water and then get knocked unconscious in the water where they then drown because that's rather frustrating so we're going to make a taming trap or taming pen for them a simple taming pen uh, however the best thing to make that out of is stone and we're not high enough level to make stone so they they can they can break wood they can damage wood and break out of it eventually uh, they can't damage stone but Hopefully, if we tame it quickly enough, we'll be able to get it knocked out before it breaks out and gets away. So, for a taming pen, we're going to need wooden fence foundations. We're going to need some door frames, which we've already unlocked. Uh, we'll need some ramps so they can get up into the pen. And we'll need a wooden pillar. Which I'll show you why we need the wooden pillar in a bit. Okay. So, let's see. We should have all the stuff we need to bake that. So, we grab some more thatch. Uh, we might need some more fiber, and we'll need some wood. Okay, so what we'll need is we're going to make a 2x2 two two pen, so that's 8 of the fence foundations. And then we'll need 8 walls. And we'll need 1 pillar, and 2 ramps. That should do it. We'll actually make another bow and arrow as well. And can we repair the one we've got? Yes. Okay, it's going to take a wee while to, to craft all that. Put the bow down 
there. Right, so we'll put the trunk arrows in four. Oh, we've only got one. Okay, yeah, so we need to make some more stone arrows. So I'll need some more fiber. Okay, right, let's go set the trap. Right, so we'll use this flat area of beach here. I seem to remember that when we first spawned in, there's a level 70 something trike just over there by my dead body that we encountered in episode one uh, so let's see so we'll put fence foundation there there Oh, there's a two by two, and then we'll put walls all around it. I think one will be enough for the trike. Uh, right, so then we need ramps in there. So with vanilla, it says you there's no foundation so there's no actual foundation you can't use a fence foundation to snap to a wall or a door so what we do is we create a foundation by dropping a pillar in that doorway and then we can then snap to there and then this ramp will snap to the one next to it and the idea is we'll aggro the trike in we'll get him to follow us in this way We'll jump in here, we can fit out this door, but it is too big and it won't be able to and it'll get stuck in the trap. That's the plan. Uh, okay, so now we need to go and actually get the trike. So we're going to take our parts off. Let's go and see if we can find it. It's still there. there, there. Oh, there's two trikes there. Ooh, that could be a bit of an issue. Right, let's have a quick look. What are you? So you're level 48, and you're level 76. Okay, so it's the green one that we want, but it looks like we're going to have to get rid of this darker one first. So, if we... Where'd it go? Hopefully we can get it on its own. Is it coming? It is coming. Oh, there's another track across the water, so hopefully we don't aggro that as well. Are you still coming? Yep. swimming across. So as well as using the trap for taming we can also use it for killing it. So we're going to kill off this one so hopefully it'll come... where'd it go? Oh it's, it's hanging about the water. Let me go and see if we can re-aggro it. Come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's come in. 
Here we go. It's in. Right. The thing with trikes is the the hardened shell in their head gives them protection. So if I hit and they are, you only take seven damage. If I hit elsewhere other than the head, it takes five. Where did that other trike go? Keep an eye out for that. So we don't want to hit it in the head. We want to hit it anywhere else other than the head. off out of the way. At least it's not attacking our structure so it's not going to damage our wooden fence on it's totally focused on me and not on the structure. Which is good. Come on. Look, there we go, it's done. Alright, there we can get past this tail and we'll get in we might be able to get some of our arrows back. Nope. Nope, we're not getting our arrows back. Okay, so we're just gonna chop this one up and get it out of the way. And get some lovely meat and keratin off of it as well. Right, now we're clear to go and get the other one. So that worked out well because they've got a, an aggro radius, so if you attack one trike uh, any within a certain radius of them, they'll all attack you at the same time. So we could have had them both coming towards us and it would be harder to split them apart. Right, there you are. So we've got to get a Trank arrow out this time, the green arrows. And... Get you with that, and that should aggro you. Come in. There he goes. check right now. Right, still coming. Nope, he's lost. He's lost aggro. Can't quite turn. Here he comes. Again. Right, come on. There we go. Whoa, it went right through. Oh, what happened there? So circle back round again. Same idea again, but with Trank Arrows, you can see they're doing less damage, but they'll also be topping up his Torpor meter. So just have to pepper him with arrows, so whenever you hit him with an arrow, it does an initial shot of Torpor, and then it does a little couple of ticks for a few seconds of adding some more Torpor over time. So you just have to be careful, because don't want to do too much damage, so just maybe five seconds between each shot. Oh, that hit his head, so see, he only did three. Slowly taking him down. Okay, it looks like he's running now, which means he's getting close. 
she? It's a female. Neither of them have attacked the structure, which is great. And it's out. Did I hit it just after it went unconscious? Mm. Right. So, once again, it says the purple bar of its unconscious meter, which has got slowly ticked down, and if it reaches zero, it will wake up. But if necessary, we can we can top that up by giving it narco berries or narcotic. But we need to put food in its inventory, which because as the moment the only food that we have for herbivores is a measure berries, we need to go and get ourselves some measure berries. So, the quickest and most effective way to tame any dino is to use what's called kibble and there's various kibble recipes that you can craft to make the kibble, the different kibble. However, they all pretty much require various types of eggs and vegetables that we aren't able to grow yet. Uh, so, right at this moment in time, we don't have access to kibble, so... Oh, back over there, let's go into your inventory. Uh, it's got a stack of that. Pushing all the wrong buttons, too used to pushing the buttons for Conan. Right, so we'll put the measure berries in there. It's already hungry, so it'll start eating them up. Okay, it stopped eating now, so if we, if we actually look at their stats, they've got a food stat, which is slowly going down, and when that gets low enough that they're hungry enough to eat, they'll eat one berry. And when they eat a berry... So what are we at now? So it's 62.5. So we'll watch this here. 82, okay, it went back up again, so it ate another berry. No, it didn't. I'm misreading that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, but up there. So, another percentage up. And then Stop pushing that button, push that button. I take some of the narco berries, I'll just show you. We won't need it because it's going to it's going to eat before and the the brown bar will go up to hundred before the purple one comes down. But I can show you you can just drop some narco berries or narcotic in, select it, and just E to consume. And if you watch its torpidity down here it's one, two, two, five and dropping. And it goes back up again. So we can we can actually force its turpidity back up again. Uh, okay, so we didn't hit it. Oh, it just it just it showed it had a taming effectiveness of 99.9%. So that means if we'd hit it after it was unconscious, that taming effectiveness would have dropped right down, which would have given us a, a smaller boost in levels. So that's 76 is now 113. Right, let's go and craft a saddle for it. Back over to the shack. Right, what do we need? I've got a level. Let's put another level in. Wait. A trike. So level 16 to get a trike saddle. And it needs 140 hide, 80 fibre, 25 wood. Do we have enough hide? Oh, we do. Craft, and that's crafted in our inventory, so there we go. Okay. All this stuff back. 
and that, 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 and that. That meets away the spoil, so let's split all that. And split all that. Right, so somehow or other it got out through that pen on the first attempt, so let's put the saddle on it. And see if we can get out too. idea how it got in. It runs so fast over the ramp that it jumped right through. Okay, so what we'll need to do is demolish these walls. And we get that. If you're building a more permanent uh, taming pen, you can actually put a, a dino gateway at one end of them so with doors that you can close and then you can open to get it out and then just shut the door again. Right, there we go. So we now have not only a dino that can... what is it stats? Not an awful lot of health. These things never have a lot of stamina. Yeah, so it's because it was only level 76, it's not it's not brilliant, but it's the best we've got in the area at the moment until we can find something that's higher than a level 100 that we could get. So let's put some into health. But at least it's a dino that can actually fight. And it can stand up for itself because it's got a really cool knockback feature. So it's possible to actually fight without taking any damage. Doesn't have a huge amount of weight either. Let's keep it up in the health and try to get health up to 2000. Uh, we'll keep the Narco Berries, but we'll drop everything else. Let's go fight a raptor. Get our stamina back up. Don't, is it running away after that pterodon? Raptors are pretty stupid. What level you are? Sixty-eight. Oh, he's back on the beach. Hello, raptor. want some. There we go. So we can just knock it back, knock it back, knock it back and it's dead. It was only level 4 so we didn't get much XP for that. Anything else along here worth tangling with? Not really. Okay, right, let's head back to base and we can move on our next piece of progress. Because I will take you out. Right, we're almost back to base, but we've encountered one of these things. So, this is a tech parasaur. So, what level are you? Level 33. So, there's a couple of tech creatures in the game. And they can give you some really good resources. Like all other parasaurs, they will run away. So we need to... We don't have this stuff to get them yet, no. Let's nip back to base, which is just over here. And let's go and make ourselves a bowler. In fact, let's just give it a go. Let's just see if we can get it. Right. Kind of them. And it's 
it's done. Right, so we chop it up. We get electronics, element dust, scrap metal, and lots of oil. All of which will become very useful to us later on in the game. Not necessarily right now. Oh, I saw some damage numbers there. Something's fighting. That parasaur has been knocked back by something. But whatever it was, doesn't seem to be here anymore. Okay, right, let's put another. Uh, let's go. Wow, we didn't get much damage from that at all. Okay, let's jump off and go. That's what it was. It's an Ichthyornis. Swooped out of the sky. Where did it go? There it is. Missed. These things are a nightmare to hit. all over the place as well, so must have been attacking oh, again. Remove 21 narcotics just destroyed by narcotic How dare you Let's ignore that for the moment. A, such a pain. Come to fly in and steal stuff from you. And if it's a simple consumable item like the narcotic, it'll just shred it to pieces. So it's not like the Pegamastax that if you catch it, you get your stuff back. All right, let's just drop all this in here. Oh, there's no room in there. We'll have to make some bigger chests at some point soon. Uh, oh, it must have stolen all our spoiled meat as well. Oh my god. I hate them. Right. Make that. Split that for, for what it's worth. Okay, so our next bit of progress, if we look at our engrams and go to level 20, at level 20 we can learn the refining forge, the smithy, the metal pick and the metal hatchet. So we can upgrade our stone pick and hatchet into metal and then get much more materials back and have greater durability as well. So to make the metal pick it has to be made in the smithy. And in order to make the smithy, you need metal ingots, which means you have to smelt metal, which means you need to start with the refining forge. So we'll need to make that, 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 and that. Okay, so refining forge requires 40 fiber, 5 flint, hide 125 stone. We're not 125 stone, no. So let's go get some stone. Oh. 
Uh, so flint, we needed f some fiber, something like that. I can't remember what it all was now. What we're missing? Wood, 20 wood. Okay. Stick it in the back corner here. So we kind of place it in the corner and then you can spin it round a bit. Okay. And then you put fuel, such as wood, in there and your metal ore, which we've only got seven of at the moment and it will refine two of those into one ingot. So that means, so to make the smithy we need five ingots, which is ten, uh, and then we need a bit more for to make our pick. So a good trick, so actual metal nodes are found up on top of mountains traditionally. And the higher up the mountain they go, the richer the node will be. Uh, however, these round off rocks that are known as river rocks, as opposed to the, the jaggy ones that we just broke there, they'll have a higher than normal percentage of metal ore in them. So if we hit these, there we go, there's one. Well, not in that one there wasn't. There's another one, there's a few more. There we go, let's put like it. So that's nine. So that should be enough to get us what we need. And then once we've got a metal pickaxe, we can come and get the rest of them and get even more. So we'll drop you in there. I bet you we're going to need some more wood for the smithy, what we're going to need. Crafting. Smithy needs more stone and 30 wood. Okay. the rest of the, the iron ore. So how close are we now? So we've got everything we need apart from the ingots, so we're just waiting for two ingots. Okay, there we go, we've got five. So we can now craft a smithy. single-player game so there's nobody else here if you were on a particularly a PvP server people would be able to look straight through that window and grab everything out of your smithy so don't do that right and then if we look in the smithy it shows all the things we can make so a metal no that's where are they weapons primitive no nope. There we go. So, to make a pickaxe, we need one metal ingot, ten hide, and one wood. So we can stick some wood in there, stick the hide. We'll probably need some thatch and stuff in there as well at some point in time. Let's put that in there. Craft that up. Let's put that in there as well and just learn spark powder. We 
can use spark powder as a fuel. We'll also use it later on to make gunpowder. And spark powder is two flint and one stone. So let's make all of that. Uh, we need one more metal ingot. Put that in there. And now I've forgotten what it was again. Melee. It is. Right, and then to make the pickaxe we need eight metal ingots, so we're going to need a bit more metal for for that. So let's take our pickaxe, stick it on there, we can throw the stone one away now. That's, that's the cone and weight, isn't it? There we go. And that'll give you the wood at the moment. Right, let's go and harvest some river rocks. Back again. Oh, and it's dark, so I'm never going to see it in the dark. Uh, I'll see you later once I've got a whole bunch of river rocks. done a lap around the, the little island and I've collected 251 metal. I've had to chuck away a lot of stone and flint because it's just too heavy to carry. But yeah, only from a few a few river rocks we've got a bunch of metal from our metal pickaxe. So let's take that back and get it smelted up. Half of it. Got it half of it. And there. And there too. Uh, could be doing with a little bit more wood. We'll wait for our hatchet before we do that. Uh, so, another thing I can upgrade while we're waiting for that is our armour. So, let's have a look. There it is. Level 15. High gloves, high boots, high hat, high pants, high shirt. And they all just need fibre and height to craft. So, that's possibly why I'm a smithy now. Yep. So, Fiber. That, 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 that. Enough for the whole set. So, as you can see, each piece of our cloth armor gives us 10 armor, and each piece of this gives us 20, so we're going to double our armor value. One thing you have to be aware of is the hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation. So I can never remember which way around they are. Uh, does it tell you? So hypothermic 20, hyperthermic insulation minus 5. But basically, cloth armor will help us keep us cool in the heat. Hide armor will help us keep warm in the cold, but it'll have the opposite effect in the heat. It'll actually make us too hot. So although it gives us more armor, there will be situations where it'll make us too hot. Uh, fortitude can help combat that, of course. So we'll keep leveling that. But we can put on our hide armor. There we go. Don't we look amazing? And we'll just drop our we're going to keep it for certain occasions, but we'll stick that in there. Now. So there we go. Put that in there too. How's our metal getting on? We've got eight. That should be enough to give us our hatchet. 
So it was weapons, melee, hatchet. Okay, let's eat some food or almost do with a drink as well. Okay, so our next upgrades. Let's see what we need for them. So, upgrading the spear into a pike. Where is the pike? We're ready to go to stone now. Here we go. Pike is level 25. And we got a, we got a lot of levels from all that stuff we've been doing that recently. And we can upgrow, upgrade our bow to a crossbow. So the advantage of a pike is, as well as doing a lot more damage, it doesn't break randomly like what the the spears do. But you also you don't throw a pike. So weapons melee. So we need ten ingots for the pike and ranged crossbow. We need seven for the crossbow. Okay, so we'll just have to wait for that to smelt, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we should have enough uh, iron ingots, metal ingots, crafted up now. So if we go back to melee, we can craft our pike. And then we go to ranged and we can craft, we should have enough to craft two crossbows. And we'll just do the same as what we did with the... Remove the ammo from them. Ammo back. We'll just drop them in there. We'll put the pike instead of that, and we can just drop them. And then we'll have a crossbow in four and a crossbow in five. We'll put our narco arrows in four and the normal arrows in five. So we get out into the sun. You can see that we have the metal pike and a crossbow. So that's another step up from where we were before. Is that Narcoado? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's got a green tip, but it doesn't have the green feathers. Okay, so that's a bit difficult to, to see what is what. But there we go. We've uh, made some more progress in this episode. We've tamed a, a better dino to allow us to take on some fights. We've got some better armor now, and we're fully decked out with metal tools, metal weapons, and we've upgraded our bows to crossbows. So as of next episode, we'll be ready to go on a bit of an adventure and go for a wander about and see what we can find. But until then, thanks for watching, and of course if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye folks! <laughs>